Hey there, Libra. Hope you guys are doing good. We are taking a look at the current energies you are dealing with. Uh, we are on a full moon at the time of this reading, January 12, 2022. But this is going to be over a week or so. Um, not all of these messages will resonate with you, Libra. So take what does resonate and leave the rest for someone else. Also, if it does resonate, please hit that like button. I appreciate all of your support so much. Um, it helps the channel grow. And so just so you guys know, I'm starting to pull together the Valentine's Day readings. Um, so that's why you kind of see a, <laughs> some hearts and things here. Um, so look for those to come out soon. What is going on with Libra, Spirit? Messages of light and love for Libra. Make sure you guys can see me. Get some of these decks out of the way here. We have the death card, Transformation. Came out in reverse. Somebody here is avoiding waking up in the connection. I will put it back in reverse. It came out in reverse. What else, Spirit? Wow, we got two more here. We have a Four of Wands and a Two of Pentacles coming out in the reverse here. Some of you in a twin flame re uh, relationship here. Someone has the impression that one of the other is juggling. Look at that. We have the magician in reverse. Bottom of the deck, we have the king of pentacles. Six of pentacles in reverse. The strength card and the star card. We have Leo, Aquarius, lots of earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Some fire as well. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So it feels like someone here in your connection is trying to avoid you in some way. Uh, they don't want to like admit the kind of connection that you guys share with each other. They're not um, being true to themselves. Basically, it feels like they're kind of like running from the connection. You're really trying to remain stable in this situation and really hope for the best. You know, it's like almost like a taming energy where you're really having to teach this person some kind of a lesson um, in terms of their behavior in some way. They really haven't shown up for you. We have a king of pentacles here. Um, so they may be very financially stable, um, but there's some kind of like, unequal give and take in the relationship let's get some more clarity though what's going on here with this death card here for libra spirit we have the six of wands so this really this connection has really made you want to step up and in your power the hermit yeah you so you may have gone within this person may have even had a third party as well um there's something here about you needing to go within um, as you go through this transformation with this individual. Um, uh, but you've stepped up into your power and kind of came to some kind of realization and some kind of owning up to. Like, it, there was some kind of denial here, it seems. Um, but you're really kind of coming into this reality and really identifying with it and feeling the emotions of it why is this four of wands here and this two of pentacles the hanged man so you do feel like this relationship has kept you stuck you do feel like for whatever reason this person is really meant to be in your life you feel like they are a soul connection to you uh, there's some somebody in the connection feels guilt for what has happened here. I feel like this is your person. They feel guilty that they've um, 
not been truthful to you, um, they do regret some of the ways that they've treated you, the juggling energy here. Um, you know, you were right to feel the way that you felt in the connection and when things were going on. So it's like there's a justification for how you felt. The full card kind of coming in reverse here. So there's there's been some not wanting to release, not wanting to let go um, that's happening. And that's what this full moon is all about. Um, so there's some emotions that you may have not wanted to deal with because of what has happened in your connection. Um, there's been some question marks about who was being, if someone was being unfaithful here with this juggling energy. Um, so it, it feels like you, it feels like you want to move forward, but you don't really know how to at this particular time. It's like an in-between kind of a phase that you're in, uh, feeling stuck, feeling like trapped in this connection in some way that like, you can't move forward with your life because you keep running into these issues with this person. Why is this magician card here, spirit? So this is like divine masculine energy. It feels like your person is um, refusing to like, there's guilt they feel, um, but it, it feels like they've taken too long to really do anything about it. Um, but they are showing up for you here, Knight of Cups. They are going to start making an effort in the connection. Whoa, <laughs> we have the Hierophant Taurus energy. Some of them have been seeking counseling. The Empress, they see you as such a beautiful person, Libra. They see you as someone who is very loving, caring, and um, very attractive. So they, they know that if they don't, <laughs> they don't come forward and, and reach out to you and make amends and, and really, you know, change their behavior, they're going to lose you. So it's like you guys are together. I feel like a lot of you are currently together. It's just that your person may be distant from you or you feel like, you know, they're gone a lot or something like that, where you feel like they're juggling their time with you and someone else. Um, but there, there is some level of guilt that your person feels here. Um, and maybe that's why they, they haven't been moving as quickly as you would like for them to, to like kind of make an amends. It feels like you, they should have like shown up a bit more to convince you of how much they love you and that how sorry they they are for what has happened. Um, if, if something has happened here, some of you are just speculating. Um, and I want to say that like speculation means nothing. Um, you know, unless like if something really happened with this person, there was an actual third party, it would make itself known to you. Okay. Um, what I mean by that, if it's, if it's meant to come out, it will. There will be some kind of a sign. Things were going to happen. You don't really need to go digging for it, and you don't need to make assumptions that things are happening that weren't happening. Um, so I do feel like this person has gone through, is going through their own kind of journey at the moment. Um, I, I feel like a lot of them are seeking some kind of a counseling or therapy or even um, trying to read self-help books or something like that to figure out their situation and what they can do to make it better. Um, they know that they haven't shown up for you in the past, and so they're wanting to make that better. I know that a lot of you here are like, I'm not wanting to put a whole lot more, much more of my time, effort, and emotion into the connection if I'm not going to see a return on my investment. Um, so I feel like a lot of you Libra are, are, you guys are going to go within. I think you've already spent some time going within already and you know kind of how this process has worked. Um, you have a lot of love for this person, but you, you, you need stability. You want stability in your life. You feel like there's been kind of this in and out, up and down. Um, I feel like you, you know that your person hasn't shown up for you completely. They're not really giving a whole lot to the connection 
in terms of their time. It just feels like you've been giving more than they have. And you can't sit around wishing, hoping, and waiting for them. But I do know that you want a connection with someone that's going to be long-term fulfilling and um, one that, you know, somebody will show up equally for you, with you, you're right. So that's what you're wishing for with this star card here. Um, and so you're, I feel like you're starting to envision what that is, whether or not it's this person or it could be someone new. Um, because I am picking up here that there, this may be a new energy coming in. This King of Pentacles, somebody who's very stable financially. This is a different person than this person that you've been dealing with in the past here. Um, they, may, This person may have been just in your life to trigger some kind of a change in you to be prepared for this new King of Pentacles here. Um, so I do feel like for some of you, this is a new person coming in. I do feel like for others of you, it's this past person of yours that is finally learning some kind of important lesson here that's really straightening them out. I think once you start moving on with your life and like they feel that you're pulling away and that you're not wanting to invest anything else here, um, they feel that you're moving towards that they could lose you. <laughs> um, so you, your connection has done a lot to help them grow in some way, help them get the help that they need in some way. Um, so you really are an angel in their eyes. They see you as someone who has really kind of saved them, nurtured them as they went through a diff difficult period in their life. How interesting. Um, they, they've had a hard life. I feel like for some of them, they've had a hard time. Um, and finally, they have some movement now towards healing. And this is really beautiful to see. You really have helped this, this person. They're like a lion. And that's you kind of taming them in a loving, peaceful way. <laughs> so you've really shown them the way here, Libra. Um, you know, they see you as a bright star. Uh, that, you know, there's a lot of healing energy in this connection for both of you. Um, this is so beautiful to see. All right, guys, that's what I have for you. Thank you so much for watching. Also hit the like button, and I will see you in the next one. Take care.